Hey, Rick Maniacs, welcome back to another Monday sit rep. Our Memorial Day sale still going strong. Use that promo code BKM15 to save 15% on almost everything, both in stores and online. And in addition, check this out. Yeah, we are hard at work on the Macon Island still as we're heading closer to World War Bricks. We've got a new time lapse up on the Brickmania Reels channel. Uh, that is in addition to the Brickmania Designer Studio channel, which is going to start housing all of those longer, uh, more in depth looks at the kits once they are completed and ready to ship out. Uh, so if you're interested in either of that content, make sure to subscribe to both of those new channels uh, because they are up and running. Uh, and they are having content posted on them weekly. So make sure to follow those uh, and enjoy. Otherwise, we've got some new stuff back on brickmania.com. So let's dive in, take a little closer look. All right, we're kicking off our pre-orders uh, in the World War II era with the Hawker Typhoon uh, designed by Nicholas Kramer. Uh, this is the ground attacked aircraft. You can see it's got those awesome invasion stripes on it. Uh, it does include the British pilot as well. Some awesome cross element printing you can see along the side of the fuselage there. And then there's that absolutely wicked armament, which is just like, holy smokes, how many rockets can you fit underneath the wing of this thing? Uh, wings do fold up like they should, uh, which is a nice little play feature. And then obviously there's that super wicked looking camo uh, in addition to those brick built invasion stripes, which really, really brings the colors of this aircraft together. You got a little bit of the yellow in the wings as well, uh, which just kind of makes it a fun build. Always nice when you get to deviate from that dark bluish gray a little bit anyways um, and then we have an awesome awesome British pilot with just a very well British expression on his face so there you have it the Hawker Typhoon back on pre-order Moving on from there, we're taking a look at the H-125 helicopter, uh, specifically the one used by the California Highway Patrol. Um, this is an awesome little build designed by Dan. Um, very, very compact and kind of strange looking um, helicopter to put into Lego form uh, just because it is so round, uh, but Dan did achieve it. It also has a really, really cool door function um, on the side there, kind of using those droid arms to be able to get that thing to simulate that slide back. And then there's a lot of cool printing details uh, on the interior itself as well. Uh, and then along that tail boom um, as well. And then, like I was just saying on the last model, um, kind of cool to be able to break away from those uh, interesting color schemes because obviously there's there's gold going on in here, there's dark blue, there's white, uh, and then you mix in the, the combination of stickers and printing, and you've got yourself a very, very unique kit, uh, especially if you have a, a connection to, uh, to California law enforcement. So that back on pre-order and then of course you can't forget the minifigs because well they're, they're just awesome looking i mean they're, they're they're phenomenal that's all i can say uh so you get a pair of pilots with that kit as well and then jumping back into the world war ii era we're taking a look at the lcvp which is the landing craft vehicle personnel uh this one also designed by dan sisson kind of an updated design um from some previous build it does come with three minifigures uh, a little crew of three they must be triplets because they all look the same which is kind of hilarious um, but you know you can swap some heads in there and add your own customizations um, but really what this kit is is begging to be loaded up with soldiers uh, more specifically our d-day infantry um, if you wanted to simulate that it does come with the uh, fabric flag on the back not sure why why our model is missing ours but it does it does include that fabric american flag um, and all three of those guys and then plenty of space uh, for your d-day infantrymen like i said and then if you notice along the side there there is kind of a cool function that allows you uh, to kind of simulate the dropping and raising of that front ramp uh, which you know if it, if it doesn't do that it's not really a higgins boat so there you have it that is also back on pre-order and then last but certainly not least, uh, our only actual re uh, restock for this week is the Bell X1 Mockbuster, uh, more specifically the mini kit version of that, which is an awesome little build, really captures the shape uh, of the X1, which is not easy to do. Uh, it was modeled after a 50 caliber bullet, kind of an interesting interesting tidbit there. Uh, but lots of cool printed pieces there. I love the glamorous Glennis and the Bell aircraft nose cone uh, that really adds a lot. And then of course, uh, the stars and bars along the wing and side as well. Not too terribly much more to say about it other than that it is nice and durable, uh, designed by Nathan Cragen, who definitely specializes um, in the kind of this scale of aircraft uh, in particular. So he did an excellent job in bringing that together. And it is now available back on brickmania.com. All right, so that'll just about do it for a Monday sit rep. Make sure to use that promo code uh, through the 30th, which is Memorial Day. So the sale will continue to run through then. So you've got some time, but remember the good stuff and uh, especially the low stock availability stuff does tend to go quickly. So make sure to check out your local Brickmania store or hit the website uh, and take advantage of that sale. That'll do it for me on a Monday. Thank you very much for watching.